Chinese Vice President Wang Chishan has ended a trip to Egypt where he met Egyptian President Abdel Fattel Sisi and other top officials. It's part of a Middle East tour that took him to Israel, the Palestinian territories and the UAE. Esther Kim has more on Mr. Wang's meetings in Cairo. Vice President Wang Chi Chan held extensive talks with Egyptian President Abdel Fattah Sisi and Prime Minister Mustafa Madbouli on a range of issues pertaining to the Middle East. The two countries see eye to eye on most files in the region. China respects the sovereignty and independence of all countries. On this basis, issues like Syria, Yemen and Iraq were discussed in Cairo and Libya as well. Both Egypt and China agree on the need to protect these countries from being divided and maintain the safety of their people. Both sides have signed several MOUs in agriculture, economic cooperation and education. They also announced a mega-project to establish the largest medical university complex in the Middle East. The aim is to strengthen bilateral cooperation. Bilateral trade has reached $15 billion, while Chinese investments in Egypt have jumped from $500,000 to $6 billion in the last three years. Egypt for China is a big market in Africa with a population of over 100 million people. And with the Belt and Road Initiative, Egypt is the link for this project in Africa. Egypt's success in fighting terrorism and building the proper infrastructure has made it an important destination for Chinese investments. Mr. Wang had earlier visited the city of Luxor, where he toured the famous pharaonic monuments and temples in the city that is home to a third of the world's monuments. It was a comprehensive visit reflecting the growing ties between China and Egypt. Not only politics and economy were on the table, but culture as well. In Luxor, Mr. Wang inaugurated the first Confucius Center for teaching Mandarin language in Upper Egypt. Yes, Hakim for CGTN, Cairo.